Hi, I'm Minister Sheila Beeling. From Emmanuel Life and Worship Center. My pastor is Bishop Billy B. Avery, and we are reading through the New Testament in one year. My job is to give you an introduction to the gospel according to Matthew. The gospel of Matthew is one of the four canonical gospels consistently placed first in the canonical list. It was widely used in early Christian community and for some time was thought to be the first gospel written, though now we believe Mark was written first. So what is a gospel? A gospel is the record of Jesus' life and teachings in the first four books of the New Testament. It is the good news. As you read through Matthew, you'll be encountering some of Jesus' most famous teachings, such as love your enemies, turn the other cheek, do not be anxious about tomorrow, Let the children come. Go and make disciples of all nations. In the Lord's Prayer, in the form that most churches use today. According to tradition, this gospel was written by Matthew, also called Levi, a former tax collector and one of Jesus' twelve disciples. The author, implied by the text itself, was clearly an early Jewish Christian who was well educated and multilingual. He spoke Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Most scholars believe the Gospel of Matthew was written from Antioch in Syria during the 80 CE after the destruction of the Jerusalem Temple by the Romans in 70 CE. Clearly, one of Matthew's central goals was to provide the church with a kind of teaching manual for following Jesus and to reveal the Lord Jesus as the Messiah, the King of the Jews, from the line of David. It was also written to convince the Jews that Jesus Christ was indeed their long-awaited Messiah. And it was written for a community commissioned to make disciples of all nations, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. Matthew's Gospel was considered truly useful. Some say that Matthew's intended audience was probably a relatively well-to-do city church made up mostly of educated Jews who already believed Jesus was Messiah, who disagreed amongst themselves about the import of the law. Several features of the gospel suggest that it was written for a Jewish audience. For example, Unlike Mark, Matthew does not explain Jewish customs. He portrays Jesus as a new Moses and Jesus' teachings as a new Torah. He cites the Hebrew scriptures and refers to Old Testament figures often, usually in order to demonstrate that Jesus fulfills Jewish prophecy. For instance, in the birth narrative, Matthew describes Joseph taking Jesus and Mary to Egypt and back out to Nazareth. Matthew then quotes Hosea 11 and 1. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. 
By one count, Matthew includes 61 quotations from the Old Testament compared to 31 in Mark, 26 in Luke, and 16 in John. Underlying these quotations is the conviction that God actively works, accomplishing the divine purposes foretold in the Jewish messianic prophecies. Matthew chapter 1 begins with the genealogy of Jesus. And as it continues, it is built around five major speeches of Jesus, each of which concerns the kingdom of heaven. Chapters 5 through 7, the Sermon on the Mount, the ethics of the kingdom. Chapter 10, commissioning the twelve, the mission of the kingdom. Chapter 13, parables, the nature of the kingdom. Chapter 18, community instructions, the governance of the kingdom. Chapters 23 through 25, the Olivet Discourse, the future of the kingdom. Matthew ends with chapters 26 through 28, and these chapters contain the death and resurrection of Jesus. They present the truth of the good news and about how Jesus took the sins of the world upon himself. This is the central theme of salvation through faith alone in the complete and finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Salvation is possible only through his death, his burial, and his resurrection from the dead, all for the sake of sinners. I hope that this helps with your reading of Matthew. This was just an appetizer. For the full meal, sit back, relax, and read. Again, my name is Minister Sheila B. From Emmanuel Life and Worship Center, a ministry with passion for people. Be blessed as you grow in the Word of God. Happy reading.